Well, let's look at how to format text in C++. So I've got this hello world program. I'm going to change this directly to a pipe and then I'm going to add a string X and then I'm going to add another pipe right here so we can see what happens when I move things around. Also, because I'm going to be working with IO manipulation, I'm going to include the IO manipulation library. So IO manip. All right, now I'm ready to run my program. And you can see it's pipe x pipe. We're good there. Now, I want to put this x in the middle of a 20 character space. So how do I do that? Well, I can use the set w for set width. So before the x gets printed out, I can use a std set w and pass the number 20. And then I can display this in a 20 character space. So I go ahead and run my code and I can see a pipe in 19 spaces an X and a pipe. Now if I wanted to print multiple ones, I could print multiple ones right here. And then maybe I want, maybe I want them left justified. So I'm going to take this one right here, the second one, and I'm going to left justify it. And the way you do that is use STD left. That left justifies it. So you can see it runs the code right here. And you can see it changes it. So it was right justified at first. That was the default. And then it changed to left justification. And then it stays left justification for the rest. If I want to remove that, I can. Let's go ahead and show how you actually left justify it. So I do STD left right here. That's one thing, and you put that inside of the std C out. All right, so that left justifies it. So you can just run, as you can see it. You can see it's left justified. And I could then right justify it right afterwards. std C out. std right. And that would fix it up so it's all right justified after that. In addition to using these commands, I also have the option to set the flags. This is actually setting a flag and that's why it's staying that way. So I could use the flag instead. So STD, C out and set iOS flags. And the iOS flags I'm setting is STD iOS left that is the flag that gets set and that flag once it's set it well prints it as left justified if i wanted to remove that flag i can either right justify it there which kind of removes it or i can manually remove the flag with the reset ios flags command so std c out reset iOS flags and then the flag that was set was the STD iOS left justification. So if I run this again, you can see that it is left justified with the flag being set and then it is unleft justified when the flag is removed. So you can use those to modify text and, and display things. So go ahead and remove all this code right here. Now I want to display numbers. And I have lots of different numbers. And so we'll take a, a double X and we're going to give it a value of 1.2345678.9. And I'm going to display this double right here as X. So I go ahead and print this. It should display the number X and you'll see what happens. You can see that the number was, well, nine digits long, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it only displays six of these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and round six, so seven. 
If I were to add digits on the front of it, like a one, 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 two, one, and run it again, you'll see it once again only displays six digits of precision. If I add a couple more digits in here, so now we have seven digits before the decimal and run it, it displays, well, six digits of precision and then goes into scientific notation. So it's basically scientific notation mode, which is great, but we want to see these six right here. And so we can run it. One thing we can do is change the amount of precision that's being set. So I can use uh, a STD C out set precision and I can give it an integer value of two and let's go ahead and see if that actually applies. So I run the code here and it's displaying well two digits of precision. Okay. Well, I want to have all eight of these. So I go to eight and then I run this and now it is displaying eight digits of precision. Got to remember the default is six. So if you want to set it back, you can only set it back to six. All right. Now, what about the stuff afterwards. I really only want to see the stuff. Maybe I want six digits precision, or maybe I want, um, there's a five digits in the front and then there's a bunch afterwards. And I want to see two digits after the decimal point. Well, I can do that too. I can use the STD fixed. So I do STD fixed. And what that does is it's fixed at two digits or eight digits of precision after the decimal point. So I'll go ahead and change this to two and I'll run it and see what happens. So if I run the code, you can see now it has two digits of precision after the decimal point. Now, what if I want to remove that? So I got it printing out two digits of precision afterwards, copy that code right here and print it again. Well, I could remove the precision STD C out STD set precision. And I can set that back to six if I want. So then we'll display this. So I run this code and you can see the number is displaying first with two digits after the decimal point and then six digits after the decimal point. But I really want it six digits total. So that'd be just the first five plus the two. So I have to remove the fixed. And the way you can remove the fixed is STD, C out. And this time, instead of using fixed STD, you're going to go to the default float. Default float. If I run that, then suddenly it goes back to just the default six precision, uh, six digits precision. And then you have this default float thing. So it's not fixed at location. So these things show you how to format your text. You can move it around using the left and right justification, setting um, the, the flags, basically setting the iOS flags or, or using the STD left or STD right. And then for using your decimal or your doubles and floating point, you can use the set precision and you can use the fixed and default float in order to change how many digits are showing before or after. So there you go.